Hey, welcome back to this episode where I want to do the exercises for the data types. So let's start with exercise one. It's called personal information. So create two variables, set it equal to, I want to set it equal to eight and seven. Multiply it by five, assign the output to a new variable called z. So let's create variable z and set it equal to variable x plus variable y. And what we want to do next is to multiply it by five. But I'm not a great math expert, but we need to put parentheses around it. Otherwise, y will be multiplied by five first and then x will be added. So let's echo it out. Let's echo out the total is variable z. Save it. Let me change this to exercises. And you can see that the total is 75, so this works. So let's continue on with exercise number two. Let me remove exercise number one. And exercise two is called value added text. So create two variables called price and vet. So let's do that. Price, and let's set it equal to null for now, and vet. Create a new variable called total price and calculate the VAT on the price and print out the price, VAT and total price. And this needs to be the output. So let's say that price is equal to 100 and VAT is equal to, well, in my country, it's 0 0.25. So whatever is in your country, use that. So what we want to do with total price is set it equal to price multiplied by VAT but that's just, in our case right now, 21. So we need to add price to it. So let's put this inside parentheses as well. Let's echo it out. Echo out price is equal to price. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Let's copy paste it. We need to know the VAT. And we also need to know the total price which is equal to variable total price and VAT is equal to VAT. We also need to add a break. So let's add that as well. Save it, refresh the browser and you can see that the price is 100, the VAT is 0 0.21 and the total price is 121. So let's go to exercise number three. Let me remove exercise number two. Create three variables called variable X, variable Y, and variable Z. And calculate the average, which is also a variable, of the numbers and print it out on the screen. Be aware that the average is a decimal number, so use a function called number underscore format in PHP. So there are a lot of functions, I will discuss them later on in, uh, in a separate section after the functions. And we want to focus on built-in functions. So I want to show you a couple necessary ones. If you want to read more about number underscore functions, just click on the link. But the expected output needs to be the average is variable average. So let's set variable x equal to 4, variable y equal to 9, and variable z equal to 3. 2. 3. Sorry. That will be 16, so let's say 4, because we want a decimal number. What we want to do with average is, in parentheses, we want to add variable x and add variable y and add variable z. And we want to divide it by 3, because we have 1, 2, 3 numbers. So let's echo it out to see what the output is. Let's save it. And it's 5.6, many sixes, and 7. <laughs> so right now we need to use our function number format. And the way you use it is go in front of the for variable, write down number underscore format, and put your variable in between parentheses. Let's save it, refresh it, but you can see that it rounds it up to 6. And that's not what we want because we want a decimal number. 
and the way you do that is going after the variable and you want to specify some other things first you want to say that I want two decimals so write down two followed in single quotes by a separator which is a comma in our case and after that we want a space as thousand separators so just a single space let me make this a little bit smaller save it refresh it and you can see that the output is 5.67 okay let's continue on with the next exercise uh, let me remove this one first so exercise number four right now Create an array called countries. Let's do that. Countries and set it equal to array. That displays five countries and the capital names. So the expected output is the capital of the Netherlands is Amsterdam, Germany is Berlin. So let's do that. So in this exercise, we need to create an associative array. Remember, you want to set a key and you want to associate it with a value. So let's do that. So the first one is Netherlands and the capital is Amsterdam. The second one is Germany and the capital is Berlin. The third one is Thailand and we want to associate Thailand with Bangkok. Let's create two more. Um, we have Belgium. We have Denmark. And the capital is Copenhagen. And we also have Canada and the capital of Canada is Toronto so remember what we want to do right now in my associative er uh, in my associative video arrays in the video about associative arrays I told you what a for each loop is well not in depth so let's create a for each loop and what we want to say in our for each loop is loop true countries as a key and the key has a value. So key is equal to the Netherlands, value is equal to Amsterdam. And what we want to do is to echo out the capital of key is value. Let's save it. We also need to add a break. Let's see. Let's echo out a break. Let's save it. Refresh it. And something went wrong right here. Let's see what went wrong. Netherlands is equal to Amsterdam. I added an extra comma. And the same thing. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. And the output is all right. So let's continue on with exercise number five. Let me remove this one. Create an integer called centimeter to inch that converts a number of centimeters so we need to have a centimeter as well to inches tip one centimeter is equivalent to 0 0.39 inch and the expected output is the amount of centimeters is inches so let's say we want to convert 150 centimeters to inches The way we do that is the calculation is basically on the screen it's saying centimeters multiplied by 0 0.39 and let's echo out centimeters concatenated with centimeters is because remember centimeters cm is just a number 
and we want to see how much centimeter to inches it is. And after that, we also need to add inch. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and you can see that 150 centimeter is 58.5 inches. All right, next exercise. Exercise number six, create an array called expenses. So let's do that. Expenses, set it equal to an array. With your biggest expenses of the month, look through the array and add the expenses in an integer called total amount. So let's create that. Finally, display the total expenses that you had and the amount of values amount of expenses you had stored inside of your array. So let's say amount of expenses. So let's put some random numbers in here. 40, 70, 20, 85, and 40. What we need to do now is to create a for each loop and we want to loop through expenses as one expense, right? Because we just want to have one expense. So what we want to do in our for each loop is to add all the values because add the expenses in an integer. That's what we need to do. So we have total amount. We want to set it equal to expense because every expense in our array is assigned to expense and we want to add that to total amount so let's say let's do this over again we have total amount which is equal to null we want to add every time we loop through the array the expense so 40 70 20 85 40 and we want to add it to total amount so it builds up and what we need to do, because we want to know the amount of values we have in our array, is to say that amount of expenses is equal to amount of expenses plus one. Because every time we loop through the array, we want to add one. So we know how many times we loop through it. So outside of our array, let's echo out my amount of expenses big well this doesn't make sense biggest expenses were total amount save it refresh the browser and we're getting an undefined variable total amount on line 15 Let's set this one equal to zero. And this one too. Save it. Ah, oh, that's what I did wrong. So the five biggest expenses, one, two, three, four, five, were 255. 40 plus 70 is 110, plus 20 is 130, plus 85 is 215, plus 40 is 255. All right, we already, already came to our last, last exercise. Let's remove it and create an array called weather. Let's set it equal to an array of weather conditions with the following values. So let add, let's add it. Rain, sunshine, clouds, hail, sleet, snow, and we have wind. So let me add capitals. Using the array variable for all the weather conditions, echo the following statement to the browser. We're seeing all kind of weather this month. At the beginning of the month, we had snow and wind. Then came sunshine with a few clouds and some rain. At least they didn't get the hell or sleet. So what we need to do Like I explained to you in my array video is that every value has a key. Rain is zero, sunshine is one, clouds is two, and so on. And as you can see in the example that we need to print out, 
is that we need to print out snow and wind. Snow is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wind is equal to 6. Sunshine is equal to 1, because rain is 0, and so on. So let's put that on the screen. Let's echo out. We've seen all kinds of weather this month. At the beginning of the month, we had, let's concatenate. So we need snow. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Weather. And remember, you, ha you have to use brackets. And inside the brackets, you need to put the index number. And next one, weather. And we need wind. So that's 6. Then came weather 1, because rain is 0. with a few weather clouds, which is equal to two, and some rain. Now rain is equal to zero, one, zero actually, excuse me. At least we didn't get any Hail zero one two three or and the last one is four. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and the output is we've seen all kind of kinds of weather this month. At the beginning of the month we had snow and wind. Let me add a punctuation mark after wind. When does the second one? Let's add it right here. Let's save it, refresh it. Then came sunshine with a few clouds and some rain. At least we didn't get any hell or sleet. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.